What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about five of the extensions that I always install in new versions of SketchUp because I use them so much. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so I will link to these in the notes down below. You can download all of these through either the SketchUp extension warehouse or the Sketchucation extension warehouse. All right, so first up, we've got Selection Toys. This is an extension from TomTom designed to kind of supercharge your ability to do different kinds of selections in SketchUp. The way that it works is you can either pop up a bar like this, or you can just make a selection and then right click. Within the selection, you're gonna have the ability to do things like filtering your selections. So for example, we've got the option to do select only in different types or to deselect different types. So in this case, say that I only wanted to select the edges, I could right click and I could click on select only edges. So this gives you the ability to filter to a lot of different things. Like if I right click and do a select only selection border, this will pick up and select the border around the outside of your selection. So you can also use this to find like, for example, if you have a big group of objects and some of them are groups and some of them are components, you can select all of these, right click and do a select only groups or do a select only components. So this also gives you some tools for selection. Like if I was to right click on this line and click on select, it gives me the ability to select things like the quad face loops that are in here, um, other things like that. So this is a tool I use pretty much constantly for filtering my different selections in SketchUp. So next up, we've got a tool from Mindsight Studios called Sketch UV. And while this tool does have the ability to do things with UV mapping of materials, the reason why I always download it and install it is because of this tool called the Path select tool. And basically what this does is it allows me to quickly add a selection inside of SketchUp like this. So I can use it to really quickly create these like complex selections in here. And basically what it does is it tries to find the fastest path to a certain point. But I can use this in order to really quickly pick up these selections without having to go into like a crazy view or something like that. And then when you're done, you can just hit the enter key to finalize the selection. So this one is free and you can use it to get those complex selection pads in SketchUp. Okay, so next up, when I'm working with complex selection pads, if you've ever accidentally clicked off of a selection, right? So you've got all of this finally selected, you click off of it and you lose it, that can be really frustrating. Well, there's a tool from TomTom in the SketchUp extension warehouse called Selection memory. And basically what it does is it allows you to cycle through your previous five selections, just like this. So notice how I was able to cycle back through this um, using this extension. So what that means is that means if I was to come in here and do a selection, then a selection, then a selection, and then I wanted to go back through these, you can do an edit cycle previous selections in order to pick up your last selections that you had in the model. So instead of losing it and having to do it all over again, you can get it back just with that simple button push. And so I actually recommend assigning a keyboard shortcut to this one. So you can go to window, preferences, shortcuts, and you can actually look for cycle previous selections when you have this installed. And so a lot of the time I assign this to the D key. So when I do that, now I can tap the D key and I can quickly get those selections back. All right, so next up, we've got a free tool from TomTom Tom that allows you to replace materials in your model with other materials, basically everywhere where they occur. So I've downloaded this John Randall McDonald Vanderbeek house from John Lutrop, and um, we'll use that as our example. But basically the way this one works is you can go into Tools, Material Replacer, and you can pick a material to replace Right, so if I click on this brick antique, then you can click on a new material that's inside of your model. So in this case, maybe this dark brick, it's going to replace that material everywhere where this occurs. So if I wanted to replace this pine material, like a beadboard material, notice I could do that really quickly. And so you can do that as many times as you want inside of your model. So this one allows me to swap every instance of a material in my model with one click. All right, and then finally, I am not a massive fan of modeling my own windows, especially simple commercial windows, because they're a very simple shape and going through and creating all that geometry can get really time consuming. Luckily, there's a free extension from TIG called Lattice Maker. What Lattice Maker does is it allows you to select a surface. You can select things like the width of the inset, as well as the pane inset, the thickness of the pane that's going to be in there, and the material of the lattice. 
and the material of the paint. And then once you do this, what you can do is you can use that in order to really quickly generate a, um, a window inside a SketchUp. Now the cool thing about this and the big time saver is you can do this with multiple faces selected. So I'm gonna put this in as the default material just so you can see what it does, but notice how it'll create lattices for every single window that you have created in here. So even with this face right here, which is actually um, made up of multiple different faces, right? But then it's all smoothed together. If I select it, it's gonna recognize each individual face in here and it's going to generate a lattice based on this. So let's say just just for uh, just for example's sake that we were to adjust the width on these like this, we're gonna click on OK. Notice how that'll come in here and that'll generate your windows really quickly. All right, so those are five of my favorites, but if you wanna learn more about SketchUp extensions, you can check out my ultimate SketchUp extensions guide where I teach you about 140 different SketchUp extensions and what they do. You can check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash extensions. But let me know if you have anything that would be on this list for you. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.